So, you want to buy a flamingo, but you don't know where to get one. I know a guy down at the docks. His name is Joe. He can get you one for a very cheap price. Hey guys, I'm Methods by Kyle Conte. We're back once again taking a look at how to create some cool text effects in, uh, in GIMP. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and drag a nice box open with our little text tool here. Grab the text tool. Just drag this bad boy open. Now, this same kind of principle works in anything other than GIMP. This could work in Photoshop. It could even work in Inkscape in, in a way. But, um, but any kind of photo manipulation like application would work perfectly exactly the same as what i'm going to show you right now so we're going, to we're going to choose a text over here something super simple i guess we'll just go with um uh anybody why not that's yep that's anything um i'm gonna type where i'm just going to type in text nice very um very uh very cool actually i'm gonna type in i'm gonna type in um uh wicked nice um and we're gonna go ahead and just uh double click this so all the text letters are selected and then we'll just go ahead and hit this bad boy up until it's uh quite big like that it's just so we can see what's going on i'm gonna move this using the move tool and move it right 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 in the center approximately it doesn't matter um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a, 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 a couple of different effects here i'm gonna fill the background with the fill tool hit this little thing to change this from white to black and then uh go to the background layer here and just fill that with black. Nice. So what we're going to do is um, with text selected, or actually not with the text selected, I'll hit this little button to create a new layer. Make sure that's above the um, above the text layer. So right here. Um, we'll go onto this layer with a black color like this. And then we shall use the brush tool on the softest brush that we have, which is this bad boy right here. And then just turn the brush size up to a good amount about there. And then we'll just kind of click and drag across the bottom of this just right there. See, so see, it makes the, uh, the 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 bottom of this kind of darker, which looks good. Now that looks pretty sweet. But if we if we didn't have a black background, you'd be able to see the black was on the on the on the on this entire layer. So we only want the black to exist on the on the white portion, on the white part of the text. So let's go ahead and right click this layer, add a new group, and then we'll drag both the black and the uh, white text into the group, and then on the black layer, this right here, the little gradient that we've made. Go to mode and change this from normal to hard light. You can also use grain merge, um, but for this, I'm going to use hard uh, light. And then we can go ahead and just drop the opacity down. And you can see it's kind of created a nice little gradient. Now we can make sure the black background is enabled again. And now you can see we have something that looks pretty cool. So this is um, the white text just being fully white. And now we have the black gradient over top of the white text, which looks pretty pretty sweet um you can make it a little darker if you want a little lighter now this looks already pretty cool the way that it is like this already looks kind of cool um but we're going to take a step further and i'm, oh, I'm going to go ahead and um use the brush tool once again actually not the brush tool sorry i'm going to use the fuzzy select tool and we're going to select all of the letters of this text so go to the text layer here and then just click that the, this this letter this first letter then hold down shift and select all of the other letters as well now you can see what we've done is we've we've select all, selected all of these so now um we can go ahead and do something pretty cool now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go to the select tool up here at the top um the select function drop down rather and we're going to we're gonna go to the shrink tool and now i'm going to shrink the selection by about five pixels um and then we should ah maybe, maybe a little less than that we'll do shrink by maybe three there we go shrink by three and we'll go to select invert and then we will go ahead and create a new layer above the black overlay that we've created hit okay and then we'll fill we'll use the fill tool and fill this with a white color so now you can see everything is white um i'm going to select uh, none and you can see everything's white now what we're going to do is hit uh this mode from normal to overlay and you can see what we've done here is we've created a very very small thin white border on all of the edges of the text all the way around now you can't tell up here because like it's solid white but if i was to undo it you can see this is yeah it's 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 a full white border all the way around um, now we could leave this like hard edge like this, which looks pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to filter Gaussian, uh, uh, filter blur and then Gaussian blur, and then just li literally leave it on uh, 1.5 and then it. Okay. So now it's just like a little softer in there, just a little tiny bit softer. Now uh, I do want to clean up a couple of these edges. So I don't like, oops, so I don't like this right here being weird like that. So we'll just uh, drop our brush size down and like erase some of that there. And the same thing right here as well and we should be good to go after that there we go nice um now the last thing that i want to do is um like a, a cool looking color thing so i want to add a little bit of color to this it is just like a solid white and gray kind of thing so we could 
overlay a little bit of blue to it. We could overlay a little bit of whatever to it. But I kind of want to do a little, uh, like a little multicolor looking thing. So let's hit this little new layer button once again. Hit OK. And we will uh, select some random colors here. So let's do like blue, like blue first. Make our brush size a little bit bigger. Um, and then we'll just click a couple of random like uh, color splotches in there. And then turn this mode from normal to overlay. You can see we have that blue there. I'm going to go ahead and before we drop the opacity, I'm just going to do a couple more colors here. I'm going to do um, a nice yellow color, something like that. Really only going to see it on the, the bottom part of this. So uh, maybe not, maybe not yellow. Let's do um, purple instead. Let's do purple, um, maybe like a purplish, almost pink kind of thing. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So with that done, uh, we can go ahead and drop the opacity down a little bit. And it's just ever so slight, ever so slightly, you can see like a nice color in the bottom of that um which looks pretty pretty swell um and the last thing i do want to do is i do want to create a little bit more um a little bit more like sheen on this i guess so let's go ahead and create one more new layer put it above everything um and then create this little use this little rectangle tool here and then just drag a box across the bottom half of this text almost in the center a little bit um eh, maybe we'll go no, we'll, do, we'll leave it on the center. We'll leave it on the center. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, then we'll go to the black color here. We'll choose the choose black color and then fill the box in. Hit select, none, and then change this from normal to hard light. And then drop the opacity down a wee bit like that. So it's like a little, you know, it's like a little um, uh, two, two tone. Looks pretty cool like that. Now, I do want to go ahead and blur this as well. So uh, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And then we'll blur this by a little bit like, um, maybe about like, almost 10, almost 10 pixels, something like that. Um, just so it's a little smoother through there, which looks pretty sweet. And I think that's probably it. I do want to change maybe these colors here, this uh, blue and purple. We'll do like, a, ooh, that was pretty cool. Uh, maybe we'll do something like, uh, something like that. That looks pretty, that looks pretty cool. Now I do want to go ahead and uh, blur the, um, the color. So let's turn this to normal. Um, and instead of using, uh, instead of using it the way that it is, we'll go ahead and go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we'll just bump this way, way up like this. So it's like a little bit more like foggy. And then we'll change this back to overlay. You can see we have a nice mixture of colors there instead of just the, uh, circle looking things. So we'll drop that down to about like 50% ish. So that little bit of color in there just to make it look uh, nice and cool. And we can also go ahead and change this to any color we want. And it'll look pretty uh, pretty cool. Oh, this looks like kind of steel. I like that. It looks pretty like steel, steel gray, bluish kind of thing. Uh, um, so yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Now, the last thing that I want to do is one more thing with the uh, text. Go ahead and grab this initial wicked text that we have. Right click and duplicate that. Use the text tool. Grab it. So like click and drag it. And then hold down control. And then we can move it straight down like that, which looks pretty sweet. Now we can go ahead and go to colors, colorize, and then just basically drop it the color way, way down. Turn the saturation all the way down. Drop the color way, way down. Hit OK. And then move it beneath the other wicked um, uh, yeah, uh, text object. So now you can see we have a nice little looking 3D kind of thing going on here. But there's like some discrepancies here. So we have this little gap here. And we also have one up here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Oops, actually, we're going to. We're going to make this solid, uh, this solid black and then we'll, um, so it's one color and then we'll just drag it back up and go to saturation and then desaturate it. There we go. Nice. So it wasn't one color before. So make sure you, yeah, do that. Let's just, so that's not confusing. Just we'll do it one more time. Um, so when you have this all the way, um, done like this, instead of, instead of like dragging it down to like a grayish color, just drag it all the way down to black, hit okay, go to colors, back to colorize, and then you can pull it back up. So it's all one solid color in case you have any like um any texture on that because we don't want to have any texture we want it to be just a solid color now you can drop it down below the wicket again um and then what we're going to do is we're going to use this freehand select tool and then we're going to which is like also called the lasso tool i'm going to click right here hold down shift oh, hold on control sorry and then click right here and then just fill this little gap in um so i'm going to go ahead and uh put this to the top of everything so we're going to put this this wicket all the way at the top so we can grab the color use the eyedrop tool Grab the color, and then we can fill that in using a hard brush. Fill that in right there. Now we can put it back down beneath everything. I just didn't want any of the lighting effects that we did to affect the color because um, it would it would mess it up. So uh, we needed to grab the actual color of the text, which is which is that great color we have. And we'll do the same thing up here. So hold down Shift. Oh, well, there we go. Well, there we go. Uh, there. Hold down Shift, and then fill this little piece in. 
and there we go select none and then you can see we can do the same thing over and over again if there's any other places that you would have like if you use different letters obviously it would be different but um but for this case it is uh fine the way that it is so that's pretty sweet last thing i want to do is um we will use a soft brush put it above the background wicked that we did so like the 3d looking portion and then we'll use a white color about right there hold down uh that's not what I want to do. If you do this by accident, by holding control or shift or something, you can go to view, uh, uh, reset, and then reset, flip, rotate. There you go. Now hold down uh, control, oh, hold down shift and control, there you go. And then just click and drag across there and it makes a nice little white line. Put this mode to overlay. And you can see if we if we move it down a little bit, you can see we have a nice little, um, a nice little gradient on that uh, bottom portion as well. So there we go. That looks really pretty cool. We can duplicate it once if you want drop the opacity maybe there we go looks pretty cool um so yeah that is uh that is uh that's how you make some cool looking 3d text effect kind of thing now if we hide the uh background you can see that it uh it does look pretty uh pretty pretty dang cool if i do say so myself so that's uh that's how you do that nice i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye